Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to cover the string R package, which is used for string manipulation in R. I'm also going to discuss what are the functions under string R. I will also cover the regular expressions, which can be further used for describing patterns in the string. So let's get started. So the string R package is the part of the code tidyverse. So make sure to call it first. And to know more about the functions under string R, uh, you can call the help page. The, see the documentation over here and see the index over here. If you click it, you'll get the list of all the functions under string R. And if you notice, the majority of the functions here begins with str. I'm going to discuss the, uh, I'm going to cover a few important functions from this list. So I have multiple strings here. And I want to see the length of each string. So we have str length. All you have to do is give pass the uh, vector name. So in this case, my string. And it will return a numeric vector, which provides information on the number of characters in each string. So we have another function called str underscore course C, which joins multiple strings into a single string. Say we have my string vector using the previous example. I can use a collapse argument to convert the above vector into a single string. So it has been converted into a single string. No analysis without data and R. Uh, we have another argument in STRC called a separator. See, I want to join x with say 1 to 20 i will use a separator so i'll use a hyphen over here so it returns a character vector of length 20. if you do not want a character vector you can choose to use the function collapse again and you can give uh, say in this case i'm giving so this will return please notice the double quotations so this will return a single string. So when dealing with the data, you might get NAs as well. Say in this example, uh, if you want to concatenate A, NA, B with hyphen D, you might. So in this case, the missing input will not be concatenated. So for that, we have str replace NA which will convert the NAs into character NA. So moving on, we have str sub. You can extract certain parts of a string using this function. For example, so I'm creating a new string over here called my string saying data is the new sign. And I want to see, you know, extract the substring from it. So I, the first argument I need to give is the string name and the position of your substring from start till end. So here I know the position is from one to four. So that's how you extract the data. Similarly, you can use the str sub to modify the strings as well. So in this case, I know the sign starts from the seventh position. And if you don't know the length of your string and you want to modify something, see, see in this case, it's still end of the string. So we can use minus one. So how the indexing works is from the left, it is one, two, three. And from the right, it is minus one, minus two, minus three. So I can assign, say, art. I quickly check whether it has been updated. So yeah, using str sub, you can update your string from data is the new signs to data is the new art. So in the same line, we have the word function wherein it extracts words from the sentence. Say again, I can use the same about example. Say in my string, uh, which is the third word. So it will give the output accordingly. Or say I want to see what are the last two words. So I can use minus one till minus two. So it will give me uh, art and new. So next we have str split. 
as the name suggests it will uh, it is used to split a string up into pieces say i will use the same my string and i need to give a pattern say in this case if i'm giving a space that means based on the space wherever it will find the space in the string it will split the string from that so in this case uh, from the spaces the string has been split so let's see some more example where we can discuss regular expressions say we have another function called str subset so let's see the format of it the first would be your string name and the second argument would be the pattern so what str subset will do it will return only the values from the string that matches the pattern you define over here so say in this example i'm going to use the col inbuilt colors function which will return multiple string of colors names as you can see there are somewhere around 657 color names in this character vector so see i want to you know extract only the color red from it so how would you do it using str subset i'll give the string name in this case colors uh, and the pattern so i only want to see what are the red colors in it so in this case uh, it will return the values that has red in it say red 4 orange red indian red so let's see another example say you want to only see the colors that uh, say starts with the red end or ends with yellow so either or so in that case we have to use hat and dollar so what is hat and dollar does is hat specify the start and dollar specify the end of a line so in this case if i want anything that starts with red so i'm going to give hat red or so the or symbol is signified by the pipe sign ends with yellow so i need to mention the dollar sign after yellow so how will you read it so from colors only those pattern which starts with red or ends with yellow so this is how str subset will return a value so we'll see another example of regular expression with another function str extract for instance we have these strings in the bag list and i only want the text without numbers so the format remains the same str extract the string name which is bag list and then the pattern so in this case i only want a group of characters so i'm going to use square bracket so the square bracket using square brackets we can match a group of characters or digits so i i am going to use a to z so please know that if you want only numbers you can use 0 to 9 so in this case i only got the first match so if but i want the text without numbers the complete text without numbers so in that case i'm going to use a quantifier plus so the plus indicates to match one or more times as it is followed by a to z here so therefore the function will extract more than one characters see so these are some of the pattern searching functions with examples we have already discussed few the square brackets are used to find group of characters uh, the plus uh, the the hat and the dollar sign we have already discussed the asterisk and the plus sign are the quantifiers to quantify how many characters we want to match the double square brackets over here like uh, we have alpha here uh, it is used to match lower or uppercase letters since asterisk is used it is used to match alpha either zero or more times al num is to find all the characters including the numbers since plus is used either one or more times so the blanks 
with dollar sign that means in the end if there is any blank uh, space or tab the print is to find any printable character so moving on we have str view which returns the output in the html viewer on the right side so i'm going to use the my string vector we have already used this in our previous example so the format remains the same i'm going to pass the string name in this case my string vector and what i want to look for say i want to look for the string that starts with a followed by any single character so the dot is a meta character in angular expressions that matches any single character so under the viewer tab the results are highlighted and as per the pattern with a uh, followed by a single character uh, please know that it will only return the first match per string next we have a str count so for the same my string vector i can uh, calculate the number of say i want to see how many vowels are there so i can mention in the square bracket and it will return me a numeric vector having the count of vowels for each string similarly we have str locate uh, say for the same my string vector i want to locate the positions of these vowels so it will return me the position of the pattern in each string please notice it will only return the first match i can choose to replace the string as well using str replace so if i want to replace all the vowels with say character j so like how i can replace the pattern with the replacement as well next we have str to lower which will convert the text from upper case to the lower case we have str to upper that will convert the text from lower case to upper case then we have str to title that will keep the first alphabet as upper case and the rest will be lower case so yeah like this there are many uh, useful functions under string r please let me know in the comment section below if you want me to cover any specific function in detail thank you for watching